Yeah, of course, you know my name. Morning, we, we, we discuss. My name is Latif. Okay. The same I am also an employer in the uh, 70s. I'm the one of a uh, trainer uh, along with other uh, trainers here. Okay. So that is enough of okay, okay name and then so what is this basic uh, uh, level of service test normally uh, usually when we are taking classes uh, for a uh, um, service desk people are a um, um, full course part, part so then we will discuss about ITL related some are service desk related so much of story customer send all but now we are not doing that one simple short names Service desk is nothing but a SPOC, single point of contact, single point of contact. What is this service desk? So what is this single point of contact to between whom like a, an organization is providing a service to the customer? So an, an organization, uh, some IT organization provide a, a or more, one or more, you can say one or more services to a customer or a client. Or you can say yourself. Okay. So, what is this? IT organization is provide a service to a customer or a client or things. So, he is automatically become service provider. For example, Airtel is there. Airtel is providing internet services, band related services, uh, dish TV services, and of course, our mobile services, okay, data related services also, Airtel is providing. So it is an organization providing a different bit of services to, a, to the customers. So better uh, give the customers or a clients or a users. So Cervantes is an organization providing different type of services to the different type of clients. Like uh, for example, Cervantes is providing SAP related services like ABAP or uh, uh, HANA services or migration services there are providing. Recruitment related services, payroll related services also there are provided. So it's an organization provides a service to the customers. Now, what is this single point of contact? So what happened if my customer or a client, it can be, he can be outside of organization or inside of an organization has a, an issue is there. For example, is unable to access a particular service proper or maybe uh, he need a, a specific information about a, a particular service or maybe uh, he need uh, to change his service, okay? Maybe he want to upgrade or maybe downgrade. So what it do? So he don't know exactly to whom he has to contact, right? For example, I am working in a 70s organization. I got a Outlook issue. So to whom I have to contact? So I don't know who is the IT person working in a, in this particular issue. Right, I, uh, I don't know who is working on server, who is working on Outlook, who is working on a, uh, this uh, network related, or maybe who is working on this particular application related or a server related. I don't, exactly, I don't know. I'm just a client or a user in an organization. So what I will do, I will contact service desk. What is this? Of course, just a service desk is a name, but in the service desk people, in a different roles are there. Some are taking care of a desktop support related, network related, software related uh, kind of stuff. What is their duty? 
whenever client raise an issue or maybe a client to send a request, service desk people understand what is the client requirement or client issues. So they try to resolve by themselves or maybe escalate the issue to the people who are going to be resolving it. Either service desk softwares will do that kind of job to transfer that e request to a particular team also. Okay. So between IT support or IT employees. So in an organization providing a service means the client whenever it is getting issue. For example, uh, an organization providing a, a uh, hardware networking and printers related services. OK, so so for example, uh, I'm providing a service from Savantis to a XYZ company. OK, so some Wipro company or maybe Wipro has a their their self the lack of employees are there uh, some companies are so if, if they got some issue for example printer not working of course yesterday it is working now it is not working the remote desktop access is not working or maybe uh, what are the application we are uh, build and give it to them that is not working okay so what they will do so they log into a portal uh, service desk portal so they raise the complaint or maybe they will call directly to the customer uh, who is supporting the uh, service desk. So they will contact. Or maybe they will send an email. So which kind of support you are providing, which way they can able to contact. So they will do it. I'll tell you one simple scenario that is. So I'm working uh, in the Cervantes. So that time I'm in a different branch. I, uh, I came to Hyderabad branch. So what happened when I try to connect? Connect our office Wi-Fi to my laptop. Not my personal office related only. Connected to our office. So what happened? Okay. Office Wi-Fi. So with a name. Uh, means Wi-Fi name, SSID Wi-Fi name is also called as another Wi-Fi name. Uh, or maybe I don't know the Wi-Fi name and the password kind of stuff. Okay, so I need a Wi-Fi name and password to connect. So what I have to do, this is a request, right? So I send it. So I went to the service desk. Uh, people, uh, those who are working, so I went directly because same organization I'm working. So I went to the service desk and asked, I need a, I need a Wi-Fi name and password. So they don't give, so what they will do, they'll take my laptop, they configured a Wi-Fi setup on my laptop directly. Okay, or maybe uh, they will uh, send their laptop to the, the service desk team, the, the people who are doing that job, so they will connect that to office Wi-Fi. OK, so this is a single point of contact. I got an issue. I need a requirement. I, or maybe I'm not getting a internet properly. So to whom I have to connect? Service days. What service I do? The service, those who are in the service days, they will try to resolve your issue or they will forward information to who are going to resolve your issues. Depends upon organization, it, it, the process may little different. Depends upon that uh, um, uh, working area also changes. Depends upon the client you are supporting. Okay. So service desk is it just we cannot put in, in a one single finger point like service desk means this is only it's not like that. So to whom you are supporting, what kind of process or a service you are supporting depends upon that you are tightly service this but the work may be different from one person to or one team to another team but all are comes under services okay that's uh, just uh, want to tell what is service this single part of 
contact between IT employees and uh, okay, I think uh, I didn't open the document. Okay, no problem. Yes, I got a small point. Got it. Now, for example, I'm working in an organization, so um, I got some issue. For example, uh, what I'm saying is it's uh, Outlook from my Outlook. So I also I'm trying to cover some issues in this uh, service desk demo also. So it is uh, fun. OK. So. I am trying to send. Issue is related to Outlook, so this is Outlook issue. I try to send or receive. Okay, sorry, unable to send or receive emails. It's Outlook related in in my out through my Outlook from my. Outlook. Okay, so this is a complaint. I, I have a, I got this issue. I have an Outlook. I'm trying to send a mail or receiving a mail. Our mail is not sending. Mail is not receiving. I got this issue. So what I have to do? So either to whom I am getting the support, or who is the service desk for my organization or within organization or outside of organization service desk is located. So what I have done, I will inform this. I have to inform to that service desk people. For example, uh, um, here it is. I have a myself for the classes and uh, make it much uh, easy look purpose. I created a, a, uh, a support system with a, a voice ticket. So here I got some issue. So what I am trying to do is I create a new ticket. So I what I, I open the uh, support help desk uh, tick uh, line. So this is for the organization. So I open that uh, my uh, simple uh, help desk line, uh, portal. Either I will sign in directly, uh, sign in with use with my user account. I can log in and raise the complaint, or maybe. Uh, I will do it from uh, direct uh, ticket from here with uh, some information I will provide. With either user login or without login, some are without login also work. It depends upon the, uh, the supporting organization and the software. Okay. Or I can do call by call. So I will call directly to the my uh, to the service desk. So this is an issue I am getting. Or maybe I will go to directly service desk if it is in my premises. Physically, I will go and uh, ask. Uh, I'm not getting. I'm getting this issue. Please resolve my issue, kind of stuff. So you can contact services. Means client or user or a customer can able to contact service desk either directly or maybe through telephone, through IP telephone, or uh, through email or maybe through a particular service desk or help desk softwares. I'm using here out. OS ticket software here. Okay. So where is this point? I'm trying to say. So how to reach means client. To reach service test. Right? So how many ways? Either you can go directly. If you same organization, both are in a same supporting team is same organization and uh, the user is also uh, a same organization. So he's a, uh, for example, he's a internal customer kind of stuff. Or maybe he will, uh, you can use telephone. So if you've got an issue, you can call to this number kind of stuff. So that is a telephone part. OK, or maybe through email. Or maybe some help desk. 
or a, a service test tools are available. There are some web portals, some uh, help desk uh, web, web portals also available. Sometimes apps, some help desk apps also available. For example, you got a problem from the image and related. For example, uh, what you will do, so you don't uh, not required to call, right? So from that Amazon app only, you can directly, you can raise the complaint. Okay. I will show one simple transfer. Uh, for example, I got some issue related to the license kind of stuff. To show you the line only, not a website, it is, uh, for example. So can you see help desk? In this corner, you can, able to see helpline and help desk. So the organization, what will so if you have an issue, then try directly click on a help desk. So you can uh, get the uh, grievance uh, uh, status like a, what kind of issue. It is my uh, registration related issue. So in the registration, uh, uh, maybe it is uh, alteration of a uh, vehicle, or maybe enhancement related, uh, something like, uh, yeah, 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 it's not fetching bundle. You have to give information. This is a, a screenshot, like a, what kind of issue you got it from the uh, thing. So then you can take a picture of it or a screenshot of things and upload it. Okay. So what happened? The issue information go to that. The Butler team, so who is looking uh, for this Butler registration related, this kind of stuff. So they will get your information. They'll try to resolve your information, uh, resolve your issue. They try to resolve your issues. The point is, so that is uh, some help desk uh, related portals or uh, web portals, you can say uh, apps, email kind of stuff and some software also. This is also a web portal and it's not direct application uh, in my system. So like a portal wise, I work at. But uh, it is not designed like a particular organization wise. Simply it is uh, like a, what is your issue? You can put that one here. Okay. So I got an issue. So then I'm rising. For example, from my. Uh, I'm giving my email ID. So then my name. And a phone number. What kind of uh, thing like you can uh, in organization, they develop different type of uh, 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 things like uh, what is your you want to give a feedback or you want uh, a general inquiry of uh, kind of stuff and or you want to report a problem or you want to you are getting some access issue like a, a VPN unable to access. So it is an access issue related. OK, remote desktop unable to access that is an access related issues. OK, so something not working where the website is not open, so it is can be access issue or maybe uh, a report a problem kind of stuff. Or maybe your database server is uh, unable to connect it. So it can be like a, it's a problem with the access issue kind of stuff. So what kind of topics to make uh, people to easy to understand and raise the ticket? I want to report a problem. OK, OK. And uh, summary. So, what is my summary? What is my issue? Unable to uh, send or receive emails in my Outlook. Okay. Sometimes the the thing is is uh, very easy. Uh, sometimes it's not not okay. You can easily understand what is the requirement, sometimes not. What if it is not, you have to compulsory ask the client again. So you have to uh, ask what is the kind of stuff you are getting. Sometimes it is clear, sometimes not. So you have to compulsory check with the client or a customer. So what kind of uh, screen you are getting, what kind of uh, uh, thing you are getting since we are when you are getting. So these are all 
information you have to take it and then you can process so you will get a more clarity you know one day i went to one play <laughs> one interview the interview guy asked a question same thing like this only means a customer raised a uh, issue that is unable to access a server unable to access server so then i ask questions why customer is required to access a server so customer need a service like i can I have to access a website or i have to access email not email server or web server right so what kind of customer it is okay uh, give me the details and you know no no it is like that only so it's not like that and second one question is if in case you want to access a server because he is something developer or maybe some admin related or maybe he want to upload something okay he want to manage he has his own server okay uh, like data center uh, renting kind of stuff so uh, i ask him so how the customer is accessing he, he is unable to access server but it is okay but how is accessing there are so many remote accessing things are there okay so like that so understand how it is so the different thing so then you can give a easy solution it's not uh, people think you are irritating but no 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 if you know exactly what it is what happened so then we can able to give a proper solution okay so the the user raise the uh, issue that is unable to send or receive a email in my outlook for example he told uh, from since yesterday or since morning yesterday it is working since today morning or since one o'clock one pm so like we will know also from how long he is getting a issue so what i am doing is just uh, if i have a, some screenshot of it unable to send and receive a mail so if i have a, some screenshots of it so i will try it is like a, um, It is directly it is there. It is showing some solutions, of course. So in in front of customer, you cannot. Uh, 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 so what I'm trying to do is just. Uh, I'm saving that image and. Uh, and it is. Not kind of still not like this. This is very old style error. This is okay. For example, for a customer, it is showing like that. So you can attach that uh, uh, picture either from here or maybe from this also. Depends upon the tool he is using. He will take a screenshot, but I download a picture. OK, so now I got a, some reply that is uh, with my name. Thank you for contact us. The support ticket, the support ticket request has been created and representatives will get back to you too shortly if necessary. So from the now service desk side, so the ticket went to the service desk. So they have to look after what is the ticket, what is the issue, uh, what kind of support we can provide if they, the person is going to support directly or maybe a, a specific team has to be uh, do it that one. Okay, what kind of uh, uh, issue can be happen at a client side? Okay, so they have to analyze that one. Okay, so this is how ticket is uh, created. <clears throat> so what is the next thing? Service desk, right? So service desk people will verify 
this is the uh, sorry uh, name is correct so i got a ticket last updated ticket um, see can you able to see this is the ticket number and you can also see here it is uh, subject and uh, from which user it is uh, created and what kind of priority it is so this is a, a simple and uh, the status is uh, currently because when you know ticket created and automatically it is open ticket on so any other things you can see it a uh, number of open tickets are four answer is three ju is five okay so uh, close tickets only one okay so assigned to me is two so i'm a ticket manager for example uh, what i will do for example uh, this ticket uh, is a specific user as to be uh, work on it so i'm not doing so uh, this particular email related uh, a particular agent or a particular team is going to be work on it so what i will do i'll assign to you particular agent or a team or i will take it myself so either i will take it myself or maybe i will assign to a particular team or a particular a user i can able to assign assigning a ticket next this is a changing status that's a different one we will get back to that one merging linking transferring ticket this is transferring ticket what is this ticket kind of stuff we'll go back to once so solution again we'll get back uh, no 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 we'll do solve the problem at least one problem we will learn first then we'll go to the terminology so i think you have seen the now terminology assigning ticket and all okay so i will uh, what i will do i will uh, climb to myself only so i will take care of my uh, this ticket so i will open the ticket now you can see in the ticket the ticket number and the subject in the ticket ticket status is open ticket means issue not at resolved or closed and it is a normal priority what is a normal priority it means you no need to worry about uh, urgent manner means you no need to run uh, to resolve the issue within a 15 minutes 20 minutes like that not required you have a little bit time to resolve the issue but response is immediately you have to send it okay but in case it's a very important if it is a very important but for you it is showing a priority low level priority or normal level priority you can change the priority level also okay you can change it to high or it is very emergency so it's a boss laptop he has to send a email immediately or he has to reply to the email from the client if he is not sent within a one hour the company loses the contract <laughs> then what it is it has become emergency only <laughs> okay if normal employees working like me i came in morning and do some take classes i learn something and i will do something i am leaving right so am i i am getting this issue it is normal issue only it will take 4 hours 8 hours or one day two day kind of stuff also but if it is a some important a developer issue or maybe the issue is related to some um, other very important things then uh, depends upon it you have to change the priority also okay uh, we will back to that priority part but see the ticket how it is look like but guys from one ticketing system to another ticketing system it may varies it may varies so so i am telling trying to say not this is a fixed window if in case i am using different uh, help desk softwares it will show different way but points are almost all same only, only plus or minus things are there. it is not assigned so it is uh, i may am assigning to me uh, also i can assign to myself also i can do it this is uh, not uh, any i have this is because we are not developed any specific sla plans for this type of ticket 
So at this time I'm using default ticket. One. Okay. And who requested it? Which user is uh, requested uh, for this issue or uh, who, who requested Ryzen issue? This particular user, right? So that user name and the user contact. So through email, I'm able to contact uh, from which website is web source is it? Web, web page, he use a web portal. So from that one, he contacted me. So he may like a, uh, he can contact through web, phone, email, some automatic software so are there. So from their API, he can implement or maybe other kind of stuff means instead of more options, you can create more options uh, for that one or uh, you can see simply other. OK, you understand the phone, email and web. Web now you will understand easily. So what is this API? So you can link your uh, ticketing system through some kind of uh, monitoring system. OK, so what is this monitoring system? Monitoring system monitors the infrastructure. OK, issue uh, monitoring uh, infrastructure. Or an application. Running in your server, the monitoring. Softwares are there, so what they will do. It monitors system, network, server, storage, firewalls, so it will monitor. So it will take all the related values into this software. If any ab abnormality is generated, it means a server is become 80 percent load on single server or maybe some on a application. So application is 70 percent load increased. Or maybe a, a storage device is down. Storage part is down or maybe uh, one uh, network segment is failure. Automatically monitoring system knows there is an issue is generated. A event is generated, issue is generated. So from that one, it will automatically send to a ticket to our service desk. For that one, you can integrate uh, from like that. One. Again, I will get back to that part. So you can see uh, one issue and there is a uh, screenshot is also linked. And who is going to take care? Mine is uh, this account. OK. I integrated to email. All active recipients are to the owner to whom you are going to reply. Canned original message, nothing is this. Simply uh, kind of stuff. OK. This is how uh, the ticketing uh, thing is. Uh, there. So each option I will explain once again into uh, that one. So here you can see help topic, mess, last message, last response. I got an issue. So uh, uh, I received an issue. So immediately I have to reply something, right? Yeah. Um, uh, we looking into your issue. Okay, we are looking into your issue. Get back as soon as possible. Please confirm you are getting internet because one of the important thing is if you don't have internet, you cannot send or receive a email through outlet. So uh, please confirm you are getting internet or not. Okay, getting internet means to your uh, laptop. You can clearly give. So confirm, uh, please confirm your uh, So I will change it and rephrase that one, please. Confirm mm -hmm. internet is working or not. 
in your system or laptop. So he's using laptop or desktop. So then you can say in your system. Or you can say laptop. Or in your PC if he's using. OK. So then what I have done, so I am giving some response to the client. So then I'm posting the response. So if you see the ticket status still is a open ticket. I'm not uh, uh, changing the ticket because issue is not at resolved. It is open ticket. On. So you can see here it is. And I'm giving some reply. You know what will happen? I send a reply to that particular user. The user will get a either he can check the status from here or maybe he can check it from your also. So I'm going to check my email. So he will get a some email reply. So I, I am sending him from user. So he is asking unable to send email uh, kind of stuff. And uh, as a service desk, what I am sending? We are looking into this piece. So this user who raised the issue, he got uh, some reply, uh, some response from his response. He got it. So he will not. He will know that uh, um, uh, he is. Uh, he knows that uh, his issue is uh, acknowledged. Okay, and this is the ticket ID. So I'm what I'm trying to say. So I take a ticket ID. I want to check it from the portal. If in case uh, email is okay, but I want to check my uh, ticket is status. Okay. Uh, email address is uh, same address only. Uh, what I have done. So I think. Uh, this is the uh, ticket status link. Now I got a the ticket status link to my email. So this is my ticket information. So I'm a client. So I'm my my name is uh, like a Latif Cloud Learner. So this is my ticket, uh, which is I give. Okay. So here, the client as a client, I'm uh, I'm telling. So because he's asking what it is, please confirm internet is working or not. So I said yes. The internet is working. Okay, internet working in my laptop. Okay. Um, so this is from the client side. Okay. It's a chart support type uh, ticket uh, related. And my side. So I'm a, I'm also a user, right? So I'm a service desk person. So what I'm trying to say is like again, I got uh, this. Yes. Internet is working in my laptop. And I'm asking again, are you. Change. Your. Email. Password. Recently. OK. Or. Do you change. Any. Outlook. Configuration. OK, so what I'm asking if you change the password uh, in a normal uh, um, through web access, it changed the password, but it is not applicable into the Outlook. Or maybe in the Outlook, you open and you change some configuration from that one onwards, is not uh, uh, working. Okay. And uh, here, check also check the simple issue, but I'm making bigger. OK, also check your uh, mailbox size. <clears throat> OK, so it's uh, I will go to the next point. OK, any configuration. So I, I as a service desk person, 
I requested my uh, client. So this is, is, is are you done any this kind of issues? So we'll try. Uh, so this hand. Yeah, I ask one question, right? So this is uh, here. Are you change your email password recently? Uh, do you change any configuration? No, I didn't change. Password or configuration. OK, so just trying to sell or uh, tell uh, the issue how to resolve it. Just I click and post. So I said no, I didn't change the password or a configuration. OK, so here it is. So I have to get that one. Now. So we'll get it. No, I didn't change the password from the client. I got it. So what is this issue? First of all, uh, we'll discuss the uh, solution. Then uh, better I will tell. First important is if you got an issue, better to check internet is working or not. No internet, no outlet, right? No sending, receiving kind of internet is working. Or, not. or maybe user changes. Password in uh, web login, but not uh, in Outlook. So it is uh, possible that so he changed the password and he forget to change in the Outlook. Now it is not applicable. Okay, so that is also one of the possibilities there. So second one is change of Outlook configuration means user configuration or some migration, some adding some user into that one. It may affect. OK, so third one is some organization uh, specify that user must change the password in a particular time. So it means user. Not change. That is also issue change password. On or before password expiry. Okay, expiry or expiration, we can say before expiry. For example, you know, banking uh, related passwords. So every 180 days, you have to change the password. So otherwise, what happens if you don't change the password, password expires, you cannot log in. Sometimes you have to do uh, again re login kind of stuff. You have to do it right. So sometimes you cannot. So here it is in some organization. They will have a password enforcement. Are they? OK, so we like that. So every uh, 40 days or maybe every uh, six months user has to change the password. You didn't change. That is a, another problem. Next one is the mailbox issue. What is the mailbox issue? Your mailbox is full. OK, it means it has to. Clear. Send and. Sent mails. Drafts. Clear uh, unnecessary inbox mails, sent mails, draft mails, and so on. Okay, so possibility is the user's inbox is full. It uses uh, the mailbox is full. Okay, some organization give. 1 GB, 2 GB kind of uh, big size, like 50 GB, 1 terabyte kind of mailboxes. So they can send number of mails, 
mails can be inside in your inbox, sent mails like that. But problem is, if smaller or small sizes, so what happened? The inbox is mailbox is full, okay? So obviously they cannot send or receive a mail. You know, in a olden days you have a mobile phone. Uh, if your message box is full, you cannot send or receive a mail. Same thing, your mailbox for every email account, there is a specific size is there. If it is full, they cannot send or receive a mail. And also you have to uh, confirm one important thing is, okay, can you send mails through web login? Means, for example, Gmail you can use through Outlook as well as a website, right? So same thing through web login, can you able to send a mail uh, through web login or not? Okay, so if this is yes, means this is not required to check it. Okay, it's like a flow. If this is yes, and you need to check this one. Okay, and you need to check this one also. If it's no, it means it is a possible that these issues can be applicable. Okay, if you he can even log in through web login, so the inbox of his account is good. It is not locked up kind of stuff. This one also same thing, like your Outlook is Outlook, the account, the check on mail account. Can be expired. So if so many days you didn't use or maybe you are out of organization or your organization removed your account. Okay. Or removed. Disabled. Possible. Disabled. Or locked. Locked because of password expiry kind of stuff. Or organization wantedly locked kind of stuff. So if it is working, so you need to check this kind of stuff. Okay. So last one is, if this is yes, if this is no, you have to check these three things. If this is yes, then you have to go to, can be Outlook application issue. If Outlook application issue is there, there is a few solutions. One is application related issue, guys. Remember applica any application related, Okay, first of all, go to control panel because it's a Microsoft generally. So in Microsoft, go to control panel, programs, and uh, features, or maybe only programs, depends upon their Microsoft. So I'm going to control panel, go to control panel, programs and features. So you can see the applications here. Okay, so sometimes it is in the settings also applications are there. You can go to the settings like this, apps, then also you can see apps and features. So here also you can find an applications. Uh, you can go to settings in that one apps. So select app, your application means here, in this case, Outlook. Try repair or change option. Uh, for example, if I find the Microsoft thing here, uh, our Microsoft kind of stuff is there. So, okay. For example, you can see change. Some play times it will show uh, repair also. So I will show you the repair part uh, in the application having repair. Yeah, some application is having the repair. Yeah, this application, see, you can see the repair option. 
okay either change or a repair so right click on it uh, your application where it is right click change or repair and you can do quick repair online repair also okay so quick repair or an online repair so i put an online repair click repair it will take time so it is try to repair your application okay sometimes it may not so you can select repair or a change okay so try repair so any repair you can uh, try thing. so if it is not working always any application issue guys not only outlook issue not not only outlook application issue any application issues try repair not working then only one thing is uninstall application restart your pc so up this is a step uninstall the application restart uh, your system or pc kind of stuff laptop whatever you have using and then try install now it is working or not okay so there is few things one more is for a generally lot of people having a this kind of issues because of smallest error that is called a time date and time possible thing is there for example you can see my date and time this date and time is from the microsoft time dot microsoft time dot windows dot com it is automatically set through the internet only okay you want to know so simply go to uh adjust date and time okay so yeah here it is my time zone i am in india so indian time zone and i sync that time from the time dot microsoft uh, windows dot com so i'm getting so compulsory your date and time both time zone and uh, time must sync with the uh, uh, time server so in case it's a uh, microsoft time dot uh, windows dot com or organization time server if in case organization maintaining time server according to that it should be there mostly your windows system time server must be thing maybe if you are in us you are in a asia specific time as per that time exact time should be there i'm in india you are in us both are okay no problem but i'm um, i must be my time zone and my time as per the the time zone should be configured it's not like that for me 4 30 yours also 4 30 but you are in a different time zone it is not okay so this can be possible issues can be solution see it is a simple wall what is unable to access uh, send a receive a mail from the outlet so first of all i confirm that internet is working or not so i got a reply yes i got a internet is working so now it is user uh, changes his password uh, uh, uh he change applicable in a password is any password changes are happen no 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 password changes occur any changes in the configuration is not occur if it is occur then we will take care of that one so what is occurring so we'll reapplicable part so then like step by step you have to go through one by one solution it is you have to uh, speak to the customer means contact the customers do the solution can you able to can you send and receive mails through web login so i said if he say yes then jump to the conclusion like a it can be outlook related issues our time related issues uh, we can able to uh, tell okay but if you say no 
now he cannot able to access through web login also so it can be a password related issues account lock related issues or a uh, uh, mailbox full kind of issues can be there okay sometimes as a support you can resolve from your side sometimes these kind of issues has to be sent to the server guy so who is working on this email servers related he has to resolve it okay you are for example you are in a l1 support so you no need to do all the things right so you cannot uh, log into the server and uh, uh, unlock the user right you cannot do it you cannot do it so what you will do you have to transfer the ticket to the that's this particular uh, like a, it's a password locked or maybe inbox is full password is not changed or before expiry so then it is locked okay or maybe uh, so he changed the password in the he forget the password user change the password but forget the password you cannot uh, reassign the password because your support level maybe uh, has uh, some limitation then what you have to do you have to escalate the issue to the this is specific uh, server uh, related team so this is an issue password is changed but user forget his password or password is maybe expired or maybe is a, a mailbox is full is cannot able to log in or something like that okay so what you have to do so password may be disabled you have to escalate so then they will understand they will try to resolve from that their side and find a solution Okay, guys. Uh, understand up to here. Uh, I told a big story from with uh, taken one example. So I ask, can you be able to access? browser so like this i will try to figure it out issue and finally i can able to uh, work it so i got a reply that is for example yes so I said, uh, uh, go to control panel. Okay, go to control panel, uh, try select your application, means select uh, Microsoft uh, um, Office, then uh, uh, try repair. So select repair option. Okay, select online repair. Wait for uh, some time and uh, check. Okay, so this is I'm give try to give the solution. Okay, so I send it. So what happened here? So then uh, this ticket. Um, So I got this solution. So I asked, now it is, I tried it. For example, the client is tried and now it is working. Yes, uh, uh, it's working now. So client is confirmed that the solution is worked and his get a problem is solved. So once it is done as a service test, what I have to do it? The issue is resolved, then I have to say it is resolved. No, it's not like it. It is we have to either you can do it from here now. No.
just as said uh, why it is okay i will change the other status directly result solution okay. customer confirms issue result and uh, solution uh, repair application working so i am giving even though if after resolve so i am giving a information that is uh, it is resolved and what are the solution yeah and now i am closing click on close now can you see where is my ticket it's not in a open ticket it's not showing here so i have to go to again click on tickets then close the ticket so today i close one ticket now so this is a close it the ticket status is close and it is resolved and the ticket is now it is closed so here it is you can see the closed ticket so totally i closed two tickets in the week so on one and 20 second another one and 16. okay so this is the closed ticket so you need to worry about this ticket last one okay so this is total ticket life cycles guys totally how the ticket will rise how you will support or what is the final point okay anyone understand or I, I confused you more or maybe you uh, got some point here let me continue or anything please shivangi understand sir Harsh and uh, Rishika. Yeah, understood. Under, under, under. Okay. Means I am telling, keep telling now, so sometimes it will confuse. So that's why I am uh, keep asking. So please be interactive. No problem for me. I am not your lecturer and you are not my students also. Just for awareness. Okay. This time, time to say ticket types. Yeah. Incident tickets, there is a mainly three type of tickets that to depends upon organization. There are, uh, can be more than three, but in general, I am typing. So incident type ticket. And next one is service request. Some people also call it as a service ticket. So the short form is yes, sir. Okay, service ticket or a service request ticket. Alert ticket. Alert ticket. What is this incident ticket? When it is incident ticket will occur? Any production loss or a down. Okay, production loss. Any production loss. Unplanned interruption. Unplanned interruption. Some issues occur. Okay, for example, server is down, or maybe server is not working. So then we call it as a, it is instead. Service request, for example, user required some information. User required some information or maybe he want to do some change in the service. Or maybe he's unable to access, he want uh, some access permissions. Or unable to access kind of stuff or uh, he required to access, I want a printer access or VPN access or a remote system access uh, or maybe um, um, some uh, outlook access okay 
So you want some access kind of, or maybe you want to change the service or update, upgrade kind of stuff, kind of stuff you want to do it. Or you, you not just want a general query it is. So it is a, a service request. So again, elect a ticket. What is this elect ticket? Already I just told there is a monitoring system. Different monitoring systems are there. For example, NagiVoice is there. Uh, uh, PRTG, uh, yeah, PRTG is the correct one. PRTG, Solar Winds, different monitoring system, network monitoring, server monitoring, application monitoring, storage monitoring, database monitoring. So what they will do is it will monitor your infrastructure, your servers, your network, your uh, uh, applications in the servers. OK, so it will monitor all the connections uh, entire your organization. Some issues occur. Service um, smart. Okay, so this monitor uh, system will sense, like for example, a disk is full. Disk is full, already 70%, 80% disk is full. It can be uh, full again, so you cannot put more data. So, or maybe uh, uh, applications or the application is um, on the application, a lot of load is there. So, application going to be crashing next time. Uh, server server side applications i'm talking okay or maybe one uh, server is 80 percent network port uh, uh, traffic is generating so if it is going in a maybe one or two hours it may be going to be 90 percent then 100 percent so it may be uh, we cannot able to access okay you know server busy kind of stuff will occur server unable unavailable kind of uh, issues will occur right so before uh, uh, some total loss occurs so what this monitoring will do so it will estimate some issue sometimes a change is occur or maybe a warning is generated or maybe issue is occur so monitoring system what will do it will integrate this monitoring system to this service test software so any issue is occur immediately any warning is generated it will send to the uh, service desk that type of ticket is elected it will give a notification. It is nothing but a, a notification immediately. You are getting. Okay. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Okay. So these are the three major ticket types. Another one is every ticket has a priority. Mainly, this incident type of tickets are having priorities. Okay, compared to other tickets, so the incident has a priorities. The priority is also having a name called like a P1 type ticket, P2 type ticket, P3 ticket, P4 ticket. Some are some organization only three levels P1, P2, P3. Some organization put a four level, some organization put a five levels. Depends upon that organization and uh, uh, the client companies and the service related. Okay. So this P4 is generally a low, low priority ticket it is. So a ticket is occurred, 
that is P4 type of ticket or a low priority ticket. So it is. Uh, I already showed one ticket, right? It is. Uh, uh, I I didn't change the normal uh, uh, priority to uh, high priority or low priority, right? So that's uh, we'll see uh, any open tickets. Uh, we have bought so many tickets. So it is a priority is high and this is a normal. From one ticket, uh, uh, for one ticket, uh, I change the priority level also. Okay, so for example, uh, I have to check it. Yeah, here it is. Somewhere it is. So normal priority ticket. Uh, sorry, this is a high priority ticket because remote server, right? So that's why it is high priority ticket. Um, uh, yeah, this is I change the priority level. See priority level updated. It's a normal priority. So because of internet not working since one hour, it keep disconnecting. So this is a issue raised by a user, but it is a normal priority. Internet is not working since one year. It is not a big deal for a, a normal. I'm not getting internet since one, one hour. So it depends upon it's not a high priority part. So it is automatically go to the normal priority. What I have done, I have changed the high priority and I written why I change the priority because it's a, some developer network. If internet is not uh, see it is you can see uh, change from normal to high. Why? Because of that it's a developer related a network uh, part. So immediately there is there some releases are there. They develop some application. Now they have to release. So if internet is not there, they cannot release. If they cannot release, so there is no next uh, deployment will be stopped. Okay. So that is huge loss. If you choose sets a setback for an organization, right? It's a production loss. So even though it is a small issue, not internet not working, but I change it to high because of issue is like a it's a point is that is very important. For example, a normal user is there. Normal user is doing some uh, work kind of stuff. Normal employees is, is not uh, so immediate release is not their internet not working. So no problem. Go for a coffee and tiffin. So we internet came back and come back and sit and work continue. That day is not important, right? But this day is a very important. It is so because of that they have to release some um, package that maybe they have to resolve some client issue by remote connection. It should be resolved by now. So depends upon situation and all. You have to change the priority also. Not always like a yeah, it is a laptop issue. We'll see later. It is not just the internet issue. We'll see later. It's not always same. Depends upon situation also. The priority changes. Not automatically changes. The service this person has to be changed that one. Okay. So low, medium priority. P2 means it is a high priority. P1 is very high priority. Means any P1 ticket occurs, it is people will run. That's a P1 always is go for a senior experienced people. Uh, uh, already the well known uh, uh, issue. They already have seen that issue uh, multiple times. So the the person should be assigned to that one. Not like a, I will try now. Okay, so urgent. Some people put a it is a urgent. Some people put a very high. Some people put a critical. What are the name it is, guys? Simply to understand, P1 is is a very high priority to get P4, P3. Uh, so it comes under low or a medium priorities. So I have written a impact. What is this? Not an import I've written, sorry, sorry. Impact. Impact. So what is this impact? I just before I told an example, I changed the priority uh, of a ticket from normal to high priority. 
why change the priority because the internet not not working for developers network now they are ready to release it so then it is very important so i have to analyze the impact it's a single user or a multiple user or a, a multiple user base impacting or a, a production is impacting or maybe a, a, some developer environment is uh, impacting on it a server or clients so you you have to understand impact analysis okay for example um uh, uh, i commonly use a website that is uh, like a, for example make my trip is my uh, one of uh, given example because uh, see this kind of stuff is always you know this website is is a very important one so why because of uh, why important means for that organization for a people also a lot of people will access every day to purchase a flight ticket hotel booking kind of stuff right so cars find so many other kind of options also uh, given i'm not advertising the website so i'm simply telling that is the multiple users are accessing okay a particular service is not working for example i log in and i am unable to book the cab here for example okay no volumes not a uh, huge impact okay so only particular service impact but still it is we want our website is down it is more impact it is uh, website entire website is down it is more impact lot of people cannot able to book or cannot able to access their information from it okay so it's so a impact analysis and we have to give a priority we stand it and uh, based on the priority levels you have to res resolve the issues very quickly if you type service test priority okay so given uh, uh, some p1 p2 low priority here is given something wrongly uh, not a priority is said five levels okay. i'm saying timelines it is a priority level one your basic is two hours gold is 30 minutes so followers 24 hours 24 hours can of stuff if you go to another uh, website uh, another organization if you are asking it will show a uh, different uh, uh, priority um, uh, timelines okay okay so what how this timelines are defined depends upon the organization already i said service provider and the client agrees the timeline and service right what is service provider is doing provide a service to the customer or a client right is providing service to the client and what kind of support and what is the level of support the timelines everything defined by this service provider and a client so that we call it as a sla service level agreement service level agreement what is this service level agreement so it is a contract between your service provider and the client it says what kind of service it will define what kind of service what kind of support they are providing so when these issues will be resolved so for example i have an organization for example i told them mike metric right so i'm providing this server related website related services to the make metric organization so example one here it is my make metric okay example one is make metric next example i will show you that double three school start okay so first example is make metric so what is the uh, uh, thing is here 
I'm going with the P1 ticket. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Response uh, and uh, resolve. So you look at here. Any ticket is occur. Any ticket is occur. So what is this uh, much of uh, uh, mining? And uh, we don't require this much. For example, a P1 ticket is occur. So I am I am providing a service to the make up make my trade. So I am agreeing. If any ticket is occur within a five minutes, I am going to respond to the your issues. For example, their particular service, some application, or maybe uh, network slow kind of stuff. Any issues occur, I will respond. So just for understanding the client, okay? From I am service provider, client is make my trade. Make metry providing service to the other customers. So it is like that, guys. It's a chain. <laughs> I am providing service to make metry. Make metry providing service to the so other customers, right? So if make metry got an issue, they will contact my service desk. I'm agreeing if any P1 ticket, any uh, very high or urgent or critical issues occur, my response time is five minutes and resolving time is, for example, it is 30 minutes. Maybe uh, 15 minutes depends upon my agreement. Okay, so this is the SLA means response time plus resolving time. I will define in a SLA. Within that time, I have to resolve my issues. The total time I'm getting either 35 minutes or a 20 minutes to resolving time. So I should resolve within that time. So response time, when issue is occur, immediately you have to respond and you have to resolve at that time. So within that time, so you have to solve it completely. So that is my SLA time for my P1. P2 ticket, any uh, ticket guys, in generally uh, it lacks, you have to open the ticket immediately and you have to send a response. Sometimes you may get a more time, maybe it is uh, for responding. Uh, five to ten minutes time or a five to fifteen minutes time you will get it and you will get a maybe a, a one hour depends upon organization okay so you have to resolve by the time means one hour fifteen minutes you have to resolve it if it is a p3 ticket for example you may get a 15 minutes to 30 minutes uh, resolving generally immediate response is required so it may get a, a four hours to solve the issues right p4 tickets it's a very low level ticket so within the make my trip uh, the employees got some issues some access not working so p4 work okay so i will get more time uh, for a response time and a resolving time i will get maybe a eight hours or maybe I will take two dollars. More time I will get it. Eight hours is good. Okay. I will resolve in a eight hours. Okay, maybe uh, I will respond uh, in a five minutes. Okay, sometimes it may be responses go for up to one hour. Okay, so what is this SLA? As you are agreed with the SLA part, you have to resolve the issues within that time. If you don't resolve the issues within the SLA resolving time, you violated a SLA. That is very dangerous for your organization. If you lose a job, it's okay. No problem. Okay. So if you lose a job, it's okay. No problem. But your company lasts so much. Your company loses so much. Your company loses contract. Your company loses, uh, faces so many other issues also. Okay. So always keep in mind when issues occur, check it, respond it, and try to resolve it. If you can, escalate it. If you 
are doing it and complete it. So compulsory uh, specific knowledge is required. If not, try to learn more things from the knowledge base. An organization provide a lot of uh, common issues and their solutions within their uh, portal only. So within their portal means service desk portal only. So go through it. OK, so you, you must know the basic and also you should learn the a common uh, uh, SOP kind of stuff. Um, uh, yeah. I will go come back to that point again. So guys, this is a W3Schools.com. You know, when I want to learn something very basic level, so I will first of all, I will start from the uh, uh, W3Schools diagram. Of course, there are now giving us some paid uh, tutorials also there, but still people are learning a lot of things from this site with the um, things. For example, I want to learn a Node.js, for example. OK, so I will read it and I will uh, take a notes and I will try on the system or I can run from this examples. OK, it's a, not a completely static website, but still it is. So mostly notes kind of stuff. I'm not booking a railway ticket from here, flight ticket. I'm not an urgent matter, right? The service is important for the customer. People read, study, and also log in. They will get a certificate from here. They can get some simulations from here. Labs questions also there. It is also important service. On my organization providing service to the W3Schools.com, it is not high budget as a make metric. Make my trip is huge amount, huge budget. Uh, if five minutes side down, huge loss, right? But uh, one hour of a W3Schools.com down, it is not huge loss, money loss for the W3Schools.com, right? Customer won't go to any other places, okay? Because he like the W3Schools or maybe Java T point or uh, some other point, he will go tutorial point, okay? He will learn. But it's not much last for a thing because freeloaders are more. So the timelines, I agree to resolve issue for fever one is maybe it will change it to one. Hour. And uh, here it is become a four hours. It is become a uh, so eight hours, uh, for example. But maybe this is uh, become a, uh, some four hours. Now the SLA time is changes. OK, now it is resolution time and response time is one hour, one hour, five minutes, four hours, four hours, four, 15 minutes like that. I'm getting more time on this kind of project. So see difference between organization and the client. They agree with a different SLA timeline. So when you join an organization, we have to check what is their SLA and the ticket. P1, P2, P3 tickets and their response and resolving time. So because if you have that one, so you don't skip it because when you see here also, I resolved some ticket, but still it is showing some issues. It is um, close my ticket, open overview. So I didn't resolve uh, the tickets. Uh, what you happened because I raise the ticket I show to the students. I didn't resolve these tickets. So still it is open tickets only. I close only two tickets. OK, these are all uh, created uh, uh, November 2nd. OK, so first, first it is a November 2nd, 6th and 9th, 16, 16. So this still not resolved even though high priority within the time. So it is showing uh, some clients. Okay, guys. So this is the our SLA service level uh, agreement. Understand the timelines and the different types of tickets, different priorities, impact analysis uh, requirement. Yes, sir. Yeah. So another term that people use SOP. Uh, Standard operation procedure. 
standard operating procedure. So can check the screen once again. Standard operating procedure. It is a collection of stepwise guide or a directions gathered by organization to enable its uh, IT employees, uh, its employees start to perform assigned routine activities from badges. Okay. So simply say it is a step by step, a set of step by step instructions given by the organization to do certain work. Okay. So for example, uh, your organization providing some internet service, you have to install some router, or maybe you want to change the customers uh, uh, current status. Okay, current. Uh, uh, they upgrade their uh, service. Okay, to do any task, guys, there is a SOP standard operating procedure. If you follow that one, you can accomplish the task very easily. It's simply like a checklist, you know. Uh, in a still now, okay, now problem because we are in the now problem. So, mom given some tasks like you have to go to uh, vegetable shop, you have to buy this one. And you have to go to this grocery shop. You have to buy this one. You have to put a uh, some. Uh, you have to bring uh, something from someone's. Home. So you given one, two, three tasks. So what you will do? We'll write on this list. So what are the things you have to uh, buy? And what are the things you have to pay? What are the things you do it right? So like that, it is a pro procedure. You follow the procedure. You will easily accomplish the task. The routine task complete. Okay. Installations, upgradations, changes, uh, issue resolving like that, you can easily resolve by it through this following as well. It is a predefined checklist. Okay, step by step. It given a step by step set of step by step instructions compiled by organization to help workers carry out. Routine operations. That is a SOP. In SOP, also there is a okay. SOP and there is a troubleshooting model is also there. What is this troubleshooting model? Is not SOP. When you say SOP, it is for uh, any daily routine operations. Means maybe it is installations, updates, or uh, it kind of stuff. But in SOP with the troubleshooting model, so there is a few things you have to add. One is we have got this one. So there is an issue. Outlook unable to respond. Uh, I would like is unable to send and receive emails. So it is an uh, issue. So first of all, identify issue, or you can say a problem, right? Like that. Identify issue. What happened exactly? Okay. What happened exactly? So what is happening? Issue, issue only, not exactly say. Uh, why it is happened kind of. It is the first thing is in a troubleshooting model is identify issue. Outlook is not working. System is unable to access. VPN is not connecting. Okay, identify the issue. Establish probable probable cause. Uh, what is this? That it is spelling down. The spelling is correct. Okay. So without checking, I can type correctly. With checking, I will get it out. Okay. Establish a probable cause. So why we are doing it is what we are doing. We find uh, what causing this issue. 
is a internet related issue or configuration related issue or maybe change of password or password expiry or maybe mailbox is failed. So we are established why this is occurs. What is the probable cause of this issue? Test your theory. And when you are when you are uh, understand why it is occur, test your theory. So why it is occur? So it can be possible this one. So find out is it right or not. It is not, then go for another one. So already I told in this one, if the user can able to log in through a web, so you have to remove all these things. You have to directly go for a, another solutions, right? If you cannot able to log in through web login, then you have to, it may be possible of these solutions, right? So like that, so one, you have to go to check it. Is it a probable cause? Or maybe this one. So check this one, not, then, then go for it. So find out exactly what is the causing of this thing. Next establish, establish, plan and implement, okay? Plan and implement. So now you know why this is occurring and now what is the solution, you know it. So then how to approach it, how to do it, then how to implement it. So you have to do it. One, it is now implement the solution. Once you are implement the solution, issue is resolved, then verify. You have to verify the fixes. You fixed working, not working. Confirm it is working. Now take uh, precautions like uh, what we can say. Uh, it should not be occur again. So when we fixing is happened, for example, uh, something is happened to your bike, like a bike puncher. So you done a fixing done, but after that one you have to take some preventive measures. Okay, take some preventive measures, right? So the issue is occur and you fix it, and it should not occur again. It should not occur again means you have to do some preventive measures. You have to do some suggestions or maybe you have to attach something, so then issue can, may not occur. Then last one is document finding. What is this document finding? So whenever you are uh, got an issue, so you know that what is an issue, put it in a document. What is an issue? What causing the issue? Okay, what is an issue? What is what causing this issue? What kind of uh, implementation you have done to resolve the issue? What, how you resolve the issue? Exactly say how you resolve the issues. What are the preventive measures you have taken? That entire thing will go to the document. The document data is stored in CMDB, uh, Configuration Management Database. In the organization, there is separate databases there. It will go to the Configuration Management Database. Means what is the issues occur, who fixed it, and uh, how it is fixed, uh, and now what are the preventive measures you have taken. So that is will be always in this document. Yes, in the organization, documenting is always very important. Thus, one more point is KEDB, known error database. Known error database. Okay. K E D B. Known error database. So same thing goes from here. I said that document finding, right? So you put the data into in a document, right? So a common issues will occur in organization. There is a lot of common issues will occur. Uh, continuous common issues will occur, right? So uh, you know, depends upon the organization, like printers. 
not working, remote desktop not working, application crashing. Okay, a common keep on getting a lot of common issues will occur in organization. People note it and uh, they will try to resolve it once issue is resolved. They put it into the KEDB, known as a database. What is this use of this database? It helps user to understand any issue is occur if it is already occur or maybe I joined in an organization newly. So I worked in different organization, different projects. And now I join in another organization, L1 supporter, L2 supporter join. So what I will do, I will open this KEDB database and read what are the most common issues will occur in the organization. Okay, most uh, uh, requirement because of once I studied, uh, I no need to uh, search in a Google or maybe I no need to search in the database. If any issues occur, I have to go to search. No, no, no. If I know some solutions already, a 10, 20 solutions, common solutions, I can quickly resolve the issues. I can quickly resolve the issues. So that is point of known error. Database use is already occurred issues and the solutions in this database. So if you go and see that one, so you will understand what kind of issues will occur, what kind of solutions we can do it. And the second one is sometimes you have so much of experience, five years experience, uh, you have seen a lot of issues. Sometimes you, whenever a new issue is occur for you, it is new to you, right? It, you may seen a, I have seen a lot of issues. Uh, sometimes it is very new to me. You know, I have seen there is a one issue uh, twice this time, uh, by this time, okay? So that is system drive. So the C drive is full always. You delete an application at a 5 GB application you delete it, still 5 GB is automatically covering. I have done all the solutions, but still the issue is not resolved. Only one solution is there that is called resetting the PC. Okay, reset may works. So if system is working unusual, means not a usual one, what are the normal solution you make it also, it is not working, applications crashing, something unusual work. Okay, so the solution is resetting the PC. Okay, if you have a data, so take the data back up, list out all application you installed, okay, and reset the PC. Okay, so like that, you may have an experience, but you may not see some issues occur, but you don't know it. But someone is done already the solution that is in the KDB, so you can access from the KDB. So KDB 2.7 to tell, guys, it helps. Uh, it helps uh, users or us, means we are service desk people, us to understand common issues and uh, what they solutions also. Okay, solutions. If a um, a service desk person got a, an issue can find solution in the KE database, non error database. Okay. But before that, one, you have to study it. Who created KDB? It is KDB created by service desk people only. So, okay, I don't require So, understand the KDB is enough. Something I'm missing. So, uh, regarding that key ticket, I told about ticket process and the solution, ticket rises, ticket types, ticket priorities, SOP, KEDB, something I'm missing from the ticket side. What I'm missing? What is service desk? 
a told one is sure the solution ticket time times priorities was there a silly at all EMDB change management change management I don't know but okay that's okay now all just I have to check it once this is my last class is so network issues it's great for 16 is this yeah, but this is a, a small part I missed, guys. This, this is entire part. I, I've already told the remaining part, but uh, you have to add it. What is this? The SOP part is last one. It's not important. It's okay, but I just I want to tell uh, three four points. Then we'll uh, see. Okay, what is a escalation? What is escalation? At least the terminologies. So I am working on a service test. Okay, I am working on a service test. So I received a ticket. I'm in a service desk in my organization. I received a ticket. I don't understand how to resolve, or maybe there is some additional support is required. For example, I'm giving a initial support. I'm giving on my L0 or L1 support. I'm giving a, a initial support. Uh, uh, exactly say what issues occur here. So simple, I have taken example that is outlook. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Outlook. I'm giving a initial support. I ask some questions. I try to figure it out. What it is? Internet is working or not? Yes, it is working. So that is it. Not an issue. Uh, he did that change any password or a, a re recent any configuration is done. Nothing. He is able to log in through. Uh, uh, he is uh, unable to log. Or he is able to log in. Uh, through web not with the outlook so then i made a suggestion it is okay good for example is unable to log into his uh, email account either outlook through outlook and web login also not working so then it is not a problem of application now it is a problem of account email account and a password related issue Email account and password related issues unable to log in. Okay. And uh, um, either in a web login is not happening uh, or a Outlook login also not happening. So it is the issue is account related issue. If it is an account related issue, for example, in my hand, account issue is not there. I supported initially. Initial support is given. I try to figure it out. Now it is, I understand it is account or a password related. So I cannot do it, right? So I cannot resolve it. So what I will do, I escalate this particular ticket for a specific team. So they will checking about your mail server or a server side, any server related. So which team is working on this one, I will escalate. It means from my hand, it is, I can't have table to resolve because not in my area it is, because I already given initial support, but this point uh, onwards, I have to send it to our, uh, is another team. So that is what I have done here, I escalate it. I escalate the ticket. This is the one point. Second one. You guys understand what is escalate? Yes, sir. Next one I have showed transfer assign. Uh, sorry, uh, client agent like this now. This is assigned. Change the status uh, where it is merging ticket linking transfer. 
So transfer the ticket. Ticket transferring. What is a ticket transferring? It is. For example, I am very busy with some P1 ticket. I got some P1, P2. Immediate tickets are there. I know how to solve it. I am busy with the, my my work. And my lineup tickets are there. Or I have uh, to go to some place. For example, I have an urgent meeting is there, client meeting is there, but tickets are in a queue. I have a ticket is there. Already I have opened the ticket. OK, so then uh, what I will do? Uh, I cannot sit on it, so it's not a time because I have to go to attend a meeting. Uh, my uh, office meeting is there. Maybe I have to go outside. The urgent uh, outside meeting is there. OK, so I have to go out outside or maybe some other work. I can resolve it, but still I cannot able to handle right now. So I should not escalate it. What I will do it, I will transfer it. I'll transfer this ticket to some other service desk pass. But for this person, you have to spoke. First of all, you have to take a permission uh, either from your uh, services manager or maybe uh, from the person who is available next to you. You can say I got a ticket, uh, but I have uh, some urgent work or maybe I'm busy with some other work, some other configurations or maybe uh, some difficult situation. So you cannot handle ticket right now. OK, so what you will do, you can transfer the ticket to other service uh, desk person. Like you and your friend is working, so don't ask him to resolve the ticket. Ask him to, can you able to resolve the ticket? Yes, then you can transfer the ticket. So after transferring ticket, you can continue your work. OK, so that is a transferring. Transferring means you are transferring ticket to another service desk person. Uh, which you cannot able to resolve right now means because you are busy with some other work. Next one is holding ticket. Holding. This is transfer. I said transfer. Escalate means always high level. From your to high it is escalate. Transfer means from you to your fourth. Holding ticket. Holding ticket means, for example, I told one issue eh, that is outlook issue. And the same outlook issue, for example, this account related issue is occur. It is account related. And uh, password, uh, for example, user forget his password. You, you cannot change the password. So you have to send that information to a specific team as password changing team, means server team is there. You will tell, please change the password for this particular user and give that one. So you are handling, you are not escalating. OK, you are handling it, but problem is password is forgotten. You cannot change it, but other team will change it. So what you will do, you will inform that uh, this ticket information, this particular user, please change the password. Once they change the password, so they will give the information to you. So then you will resolve the issue. Problem is, if you are waiting to this team is responding and give the information, it may take time. OK, so guys, that's why I have written this point is here SLA violation. What is a SLA violation? You have to resolve the ticket by giving ticketing time. So resolving time within the SLA time, you have to resolve it. Within this time, you have to resolve the issue. That response and resolve completed within the time limit. If you are not done, you have done a SLA violation. You done a multiple SLA violations. You will face an issue. You may lose the job or maybe you will get some demotion kind of stuff. That is also OK. But multiple users, multiple times they are doing SLA violations. It is affect on the organization. OK, so that is very dangerous. OK, of course, for you or your organization, your people working on organization don't go with the SLA violation. OK, so what you will do? So you have a ticket and then uh, some 
pending part is there that have should be done by some other team. There is a pending part. If the pending part completed, ticket will be resolved. The pending is not completed. Maybe it is a server side people or a network side people. So they are not doing it. Or maybe they have to do it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They have to do it once they're done. So you, you can able to resolve the ticket. So what you will do, you can hold the ticket. You can hold the ticket. You can say ticket holding. Uh, sorry, for, that option is not available in my software. Okay, I think so. Can I hold this ticket or not? Sn is there. Merge is there. Link is there. Transfer is there. Delete is there. So we can I cannot hold in this particular panel, but in some cases we can hold. It. Okay, hold for some time. So once your pending request from other team completed, you can release and you can say that's time, right? right. For example, it is four hours time. So uh, already three and a half hours completed. So you hold the ticket. So now the time will be stopped at this one. Now the, the team which is asked to work uh, on this particular ticket, so then they have done the their part. Now you can unhold the ticket means the time again it will run and it will complete. Okay, so it won't go with the, any kind of violations. Okay, uh, um, I've seen your message now only. Um, Harsh, uh, yeah, just uh, five minutes max. Okay, I will complete. So only this part I will tell and then we will uh, close. Okay, this is a ticket status. Already I've shown the ticket status, but once again, see the ticket status can be open ticket. Open ticket means the ticket is occurred and you open the ticket. So ticket is came to the uh, service desk software. Okay. So then new ticket, a ticket is rise. That is a new ticket. Once a service desk person open it, it is an open ticket. So immediately it should be open anyway. Okay. Within a five minutes, the ticket occurs and should be ticket should be open. Okay. Ticket can be hold. Already I told holding the ticket. So you hold the ticket and you do all the kind of work. Resolve ticket, ticket is, uh, issue is resolved. So customer is happy, no problem. So you have done all the background work. So then issue is resolved. So then you have to change the ticket status to resolve the ticket. So you need to worry. Once it is resolved the ticket, you will close the ticket. After, at the time of resolving and closing, usually depends upon the ticketing system, you have to give the comments. So what is happened? Like is a issue is resolved. So I am closing the ticket. Okay. Now we close the ticket. What are the things you have done? So that is we have. Done. Okay. So that is the ticket status. Newly occurred ticket. It's a new ticket. You once open, it's a open ticket, and it will be run. The time will be run till the uh, you complete the solution, right? So you solve the ticket and close the ticket. Time will be run. Okay, so once issue is resolved, then it is go to the resolved and closed. You can see uh, here it is my closed tickets. It is uh, in this year, in this month, in this week, uh, in this month. Oh, myself, I'm not. Yeah, 
it depends upon. Yes, sir. This is my closed tickets. It is closed by which user? Which ticket? Okay, it's a closed ticket kind of stuff. You can open ticket, but uh, same ticket, but it is okay. Difference, uh, different uh, uh, softwares are we use in the service desk. Okay, different uh, softwares are used service desk. Okay, service desk or a uh, help desk. Tools we use depends upon the organization. I'm using OS ticket because it's a open source ticketing system. Open source ticketing system, it is OS ticket. Uh, we no need to pay for anyone, simply take it and use it only. We can develop if you require. Okay, so most famous ticketing softwares nowadays supporting. Service desk software, sir. Service now, it's a cloud based one. Zira, both cloud and on premises type means you can take it from the on uh, cloud base, you can use it. No need to install in any server. Of course, you can install in a server that is on premises. You install in your organization server that is called on premises. You are not installing any, means your organization not installing your software in any of the server. Simply, they go to the uh, company and buy it and use it. Like your Gmail account. So you're not installing any Gmail server, right? You're using it directly. Okay, it is a cloud-based support. So service now is a cloud directly. It is cloud, no on-premises. Jira on-premises and cloud. Zoho is also one of the uh, bigger one. Okay, so organization now it is also popular. Zendesk, BMC Helix, okay, some open source kind of stuff like ZLPA and uh, OS Ticket, Fresh Works. I think this is I missed. Fresh Works is also one of the uh, earlier name is Fresh Services. It is name changed to Fresh Works. Okay, so this is about your uh, basic level of uh, uh, service desk, and also have taken some classes like a hardware related and a network related and some service desk uh, um, YouTube blows what, what we can say. The previous class sessions are it means live demo session is there. I've shown my voice ticket, but fresh works on fresh works, how ticket is occur, how to resolve it. The real time service desk person explained that information is also there. Those things I will share directly to your email account. Okay. All the links, including this today's uh, class uh, kind of stuff also, I will share it to your uh, to your uh, email. Okay, guys. I will share little uh, time taken uh, because I have to upload, download and this stuff. So I will share uh, in a night uh, the entire information. No one is speaking. Yes. Uh, yeah, we have that. OK, so. Okay. This document and the. Uh, um, the link, the recording, everything I will send to your email account directly. Sure. But right, so eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I will do it. Nine, nine thirty, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So I will try to send by six thirty. If not, then it will be night. Okay. Be prepared. So both service desk and basic things like a, what is a basic hardware, hardware related issues. What is server? What is DHCP server? What is DNS server? What is Active Directory? What is Domain Work Group? Um, network, what is IP address? What is switch router kind of stuff? How you resolve the network related issues? Okay, so this also you can go through it. And also, of course, I have some recorded session is there. I will send it to you. Please prepare and uh, once you are done, you can. Any questions also you can ask me. Yeah. Okay, so. Not yeah, that's it. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Harsh. Harsh and Shivangi and Rishi. Any doubts or any questions? No. Okay.